I think the deep seek is the very good news to whole uh, AI industry because uh, in the past only some big giants they have the deep pocket they can invest to train their large language model and because they are spending so much money so uh, even you are using the inference the price is still higher so that's why the generative AI technology is hard to get into the mainstream market but after the this Seek because they successfully reduce this cost to one tenth or even lower. So the this kind of uh, low cost generative AI technology will help to enable the whole ecosystem. For example, in the year twenty four uh, is the starting of the AI PC, but actually in the year twenty four only the hardware is ready, but the whole application. Uh, with the generative AI cap capability is still not ready. So it's hard to uh, let customer feel any difference when they are using the AI PC. So, but I think after the deep seek, uh, next uh, two, three years, we will see a lot of uh, uh, third party software. Uh, they will leverage this kind of low cost generative AI technology to create a lot of different applications to enable the different usage scenario and provide different user experience. So I think this is very good to the whole industry. So it has impacted the AI PC market. Do you expect it to impact the server market as well? Uh, of course, I think uh, because the AI server, the application is not only for the uh, training the large language model. The other application is also to do the inference. So uh, for this kind of low cost inferencing uh, technology, the more and more even the end user or the corporate, they can set up their own AI server to do the inference in local. So I think this will create a lot of different applications. So I think this is also very good for the whole AI server business. I want to ask you about the Trump tariffs and uh, the risk on the server business. So what is the risk assessment there? Currently, our server production line across uh, Taiwan, US, and uh, more. So we will select different production sites depending on customer request and also consider the total cost, including the tariff. So uh, if we uh, select the factory inside the US, I think, uh, uh, it's no problem for the tariff. Are you able to share where the servers that you're making right now are currently being manufactured, the GB200? Uh, actually, uh, for the GB200, currently the production site is uh, located inside Taiwan. But if customer need, we can move to the uh, factory in the U.S. Uh, actually, uh, we set up the uh, U.S. production line in end of uh, last year and currently in operation. So we would like to provide better service and response to our customer in the U.S.